Okay. Uh, again, every 30 minutes, I have to reset the memory card. Do not know why. Anyway, just picking back up, I was discussing something about Moses, but uh, let's finish up this, this uh, first chapter. Yeah. There are many unknowns in the teachings of the sages and rabbis of the ancient age and God's righteous servant makes the many righteous by his knowledge and long life. The knowledge is given to him not by sages and rabbis, by God himself during the fire refinement, where he is making me suitable for his purpose that might prosper. And a purpose that is mentioned in Isaiah 53 uh, is found in Malachi 3, return to his temple. He wants to, and it's in the covenant of friendship. He wants to live amongst his people. Just as he would say, uh, he walked amongst the tents of the Israelites. Well, he did. But it was Moses doing the walking. God and the angel of his presence, the Holy Spirit, was within him. And I've got uh, four... Uh, no, it's one video, but it's chapters 42, 43, 44, and 45. They all had to do with Moses, and they're all uh, important. You got to look at them. This would include knowledge of heaven as Elijah, who is the only man in the Hebrew Bible that is specifically taken to heaven by the words of God. <clears throat> Uh, by writing the words of God as the prophet like Moses and the nations of the Middle East and war as God's servant David. I've already got some ideas for the Palestinians. <laughs> Which God won't let me talk about. They're just my ideas, but if I have an idea, he's having me, thank you. It's very confusing being a man in divine beings. There's three persons in here. And I, Keith, am the least of them. And everybody can speak through me. <laughs> I even found had the Holy Spirit speaking through me yesterday to me. The teachings of God's righteous servant of heaven, with the name Israel will endure, will be proof that he is Elijah and an aid in bringing the families of the Jewish people back to practicing Judaism, being righteous, and in right standing with God that clears the way for the Lord. God has to have believers in his righteous servant for his purpose to prosper. And if it doesn't prosper, utter destruction to the land. Build the temple. It's got I know all the concerns with the temple now. With the golden dome up there, third uh, most religious site in Islam. Um, Jordan controls it. God doesn't want it. Keep the wall. Keep the wedding wall. You can still go out there. You, for the most part, I don't think many Jewish people even bother with the temple now. I mean, there's no temple up there. It's just the Golden Dome. It's a... a mosque. It's a mosque. Um... But it needs to be on Mount Zion, which I suppose Zion is the mountain that Jerusalem's on. So there ought to be a big tract of land somewhere. It's going to have to be large. He expects hotels to come up around it. So Jewish people all over the world can come and spend their uh, vacation time. You know, maybe two weeks off for vacation. Somebody, some a Jewish person in Australia, anywhere. So I'm going to book a couple of weeks. And I'm going to go to the temple every morning, and then I'm going to go explore Israel. Something I've always wanted to do. That kind of thing. Bringing tourism to, to Israel. There's only a description of one man to come. And no man to this day has ever fulfilled all the verses of Isaiah 53. Certainly not Jesus. Certainly not Israel. All Jews gathered as one man. Not the man called the teacher 
of righteousness of the Dead Sea Scrolls. That was the first person I saw to do it. The Dead Sea Scrolls, everybody's heard of that. Well, the founder of the sect that wrote them, the Essenes, uh, who were conveniently left out of the New Testament because they were writers. Nobody wanted to call attention to them. They wrote everything. They had commentary, uh, just like rabbis and sages on the Hebrew Bible. But his very name is the teacher of righteousness, which means they believed he was the man of Isaiah 53, or at least he believed it, of the Dead Sea Scrolls who founded the sect of Judaism called Essenes, 100 years before the birth of Jesus. It's not Jesus who claimed he was the man of Isaiah 53. He does indirectly. And not any of the men who have been thought to be Hamoshiach from the Jewish revolt against Rome, such as Bar Kokoba to Rabbi Menachem Mendel Shearson, known as the Lubavitcher Rebbe, who died in 1994. I just read a headline, and I, I didn't read it, so I don't know that it's true, that said Shabbat. The organization Shabbat had determined that he was indeed the Moshe. <laughs> Hadn't fit anything. Said he probably made many righteous. Okay, well, that's going to be a part one and part two. I had to start it over. Uh, the next chapter will be the ancestral tree, which is uh, very important. Very important. Ancestral tree of Jesus. <clears throat>